Azure Machine Learning is an open and fully featured AI development platform with the tools you need to scale up your data and compute to push the limits of your model's performance with the Microsoft for Startups GPU cluster benefit. In this video, we will cover key elements of the Azure Machine Learning Platform service that you need to start building. We will then take a closer look at how to submit jobs to Azure Machine Learning and cover best practices and troubleshooting tips for jobs. My goal is that after watching this video, you walk away with the confidence and know-how to do GPU accelerated G distributed training on Azure Machine Learning to make the most of your cluster reservation. Azure Machine Learning is a managed platform service that enables startup AI developers to build, fine tune, deploy, and operate machine learning models at scale. First, I'll provide an overview of the key elements of the Azure Machine Learning Platform service to set the stage for our discussion. In the Azure resource hierarchy under subscriptions and resource groups, workspaces are the top resource container for datasets and ML code assets on Azure. I'll demonstrate creating an Azure ML workspace in the Azure portal in the demo, how to create an Azure ML compute cluster later on. When you create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace, it also spins up dependent resources in your resource group, such as an Azure Storage Account, Container Registry, Key Vault for secrets, keys, and certs, and an Azure Application Insights Logging Group. You can then create and associate managed compute, so either instances or compute clusters, as well as link your workspace to other Azure resources, such as data stores, in inference compute targets like an Azure Kubernetes cluster. It's important to note what you get billed for is the compute and associated storage for assets, container images, and logs. The Azure Machine Learning Service operates on top of Kubernetes, leveraging its auto scaling and job queuing capabilities without requiring direct interaction with the Kubernetes APIs. Environments correspond to containers, either custom built by you or curated pre-built containers by the Azure Machine Learning team that your code and data get downloaded to and executed in. Environments are useful to track and reproduce your project software dependencies as they evolve over time. Endpoints are stable and durable URLs that can be used to request or invoke a model using deployments, which is a package of a model, an inference environment container, an associated compute target that perform the actual inferencing. Finally, experiments are the collections of jobs or individual tasks, such as data pre-processing, training, and batch inference for your model. With Azure Machine Learning, you can choose your preferred develop development environment to connect to your Azure ML workspace to author your training and inference jobs. Azure Machine Learning Studio offers the most complete experience with browser-based BS code environments and a managed notebook experience with integration to other services such as Azure Blob Storage for datasets and Azure Synapse Spark clusters for large-scale data processing. It has features such as Git and terminal integration with Azure ML Compute, interactive collaboration features, and other features like code editing and auto-completion built directly in. Alternatively, you can continue to develop in hosted or local application versions of popular IDEs, such as VS Code and GitHub Code Spaces. You can then connect to your Azure Machine Learning Workspace to submit jobs via Azure Extensions, the Azure Machine Learning Python SDK, or the Azure Command Line ML module to Azure ML Managed Compute Instances, clusters, so multi-node compute, or to serverless training compute. My recommended workflow for cost-effective development and on Azure is start developing locally first with Azure ML local mode using VS Code and Docker to iterate on your training code and environment quickly. When you're ready to scale up your training or inference jobs, simply switch your compute target to Azure ML compute clusters and Azure data storage. Now let's go deeper on how to run Azure ML jobs as well as best practices and troubleshooting tips for jobs. To run a job on Azure Machine Learning, you submit a command job that includes a training script, environment, and compute information. Let's step through the job submission sequence to better understand how you can fit the Azure Machine Learning service 
into your AI development workflow. If you're starting to develop on your uh, local laptop, make sure that you have the Azure CLI or Azure Machine Learning SDK uh, installed already. First, you need to create a control script, either a Python file or a command line uh, YAML template that details your job compute target, environment, and training code. Once you submit a job to the Azure ML service, the following steps are taking place. On your first run, the service will build your environment using the Azure Container Registry that was set up as a dependent resource when you created your AML workspace. Your compute will be provisioned and your job will be, que will be queued until the compute is available. In the case of your GPU cluster, it'll spin up the number of instances to find in your, your job distribution configuration within the limits defined in your compute cluster definition. Once your job starts running, it'll first pull your environment Docker image onto the instance and cache your environment in the Azure Container Registry for faster subsequent runs. The AML service will also pull a sidecar image into the job host instance that contains additional Azure ML dependencies. Your data will then be downloaded or mounted to your job instances depending upon your job configuration. Your code is copied over to your instance as a zip and, and executed. Upon job completion, the service copies over the outputs folder over to artifact storage, which is the blob storage account associated with your workspace and release the job from the, from the queue. Recall that Azure Machine Learning, the Azure Machine Learning Service is a managed compute service. The backbone of any distributed training job is a group of parallel processes that know each other and can, can communicate with each other using a backend. For distributed GPU training jobs like the Microsoft for Startups GPU cluster enables, it's important to remember that the Azure Machine Learning Service is what sets up the process group and environment variables for distributed training. Azure ML supports distributed training with PyTorch, TensorFlow, and MPI. PyTorch is the most common framework utilized on the GPU cluster, and it relies upon PyTorch's native distributed and distributed data parallel APIs. For TensorFlow users, the Azure Machine Learning Service also configures the tfconfig environment variable for TensorFlow uh, 2.0 and above distribution strategies. Custom distributed training setup, so configuring multi-node training without using one of the above distribution frameworks isn't currently directly supported. You can define and trigger jobs on the Azure Machine Learning Service using the UI Azure Machine Learning SDK via the command line with the Azure CLI or via a REST API call. The two most popular methods that startups have used on the GPU cluster are the Azure ML Python SDK in the Azure CLI. While the syntax differs between these methods, job definition and creation are comprised of the same elements across these methods. The first is imports. So the Azure ML service provides a Python ML package and the Azure CLI provides a schema, a YAML schema for defining Azure ML command jobs. Job metadata, this is where you can define metadata such as job names and descriptions, as well as experiment names for organizing individual job runs together for evaluation. Training code path and execution command. Both methods provide code and command arguments for providing a local or remote path to your model scripts and an execution command for running on the Linux OS on your GPU compute cluster instances. In this in these examples, both are copying code from a local path, this SRC PyTorch DL train folder, to your compute target, and then executing a Python command to run a train.py script within that folder, while passing the batch size to the script via flag, referencing the input environment variable set by the service. Azure ML data runtime typed inputs and outputs. So Azure ML has a built-in Rust data runtime optimized for ML jobs with features for GPU training, such as parallel data loading, data prefetching, and tight integration with various storage services. In both the SDK and CLI, you specify typed inputs and outputs, either files, folders, or ML tables, 
along with a local or Azure storage path. For inputs, you can select download to copy your data set onto your compute target for faster training, R RO mount mode, so read-only mount, for performing a Linux Fuse operation to mount the remote storage location to your instance for larger data sets. For outputs, such as intermediate LLM outputs or embeddings from a generation job, you can also specify typed outputs to be written to cloud storage with the modes RO mount or upload. I'll cover job access in greater detail in subsequent videos. The Docker container um, under environment uh, that uh, with the software dependencies to run your, uh, your training script. In this example, a curated and cached Azure container for PyTorch image is used under environment. Compute, so this is the name of your Azure ML Compute GPU cluster. The distribution configuration, you specify one of the, one of the supported distribution training frameworks, PyTorch, TensorFlow, or MPI, to Azure Machine Learning Service, and specify the topology such as the number of instance GPUs, as well as the number of instances in your target AML compute cluster. And for job submission, finally, both the SDK and CLI provide methods to submit jobs to the Azure Machine Learning Service remotely from your local machine or from an Azure ML Studio environment. Now that you understand how to create AML jobs, let's cover how to troubleshoot them to ensure you can maximize your GPU cluster reservation time. Distributed GPU training jobs are long running, so you don't want to lose your hard work or waste your Azure sponsorship credits due to software errors, network latency, hardware failures, or other interruptions. Consider model checkpointing as required to save and resume your training progress. PyTorch, TensorFlow, and Hugging Face frameworks make checkpointing callbacks straightforward to add to your script, such as after each training epoch or when a performance metric improves. How often should you checkpoint? Uh, it, varies on the, it varies depending upon the size of your model, the number of workers, network bandwidth, and the reliability of the training environment. I actually recommend checkpointing based on your loss tolerance. So based on $40 an hour per VM, a 16 VM training job will lose about $640 an hour, and a 30 VM training job will lose about $1,200 an hour. So make sure to set point, uh, set your checkpointing strategy uh, accordingly to how much uh, you'd be willing to lose. Consider using a model aware tool such as Nebula, another big software differentiator in the Azure ML stack, to optimize checkpoint for per performance and reduce checkpoint overhead costs. You can save your checkpoints to Azure Blob Storage a thousand times faster with a simple API that works asynchronously with your training progress. It's important to debug quickly and actively monitor resource utilization to make the most of your GPU cluster reservation. By enabling SSH to the job container and specifying interactive applications at job creation, you can connect directly to the container on the compute node where the job is running. Once you have access to the job container, you can test or debug your job in the exact same environment where it would run. You can also use VS Code to attach to the running process and debug as you would locally. To submit a job with the debugger attached and the execution paused, you can install and use debug pi with VS Code. Tools like TensorFlow or TensorBoard or MLflow also deeply integrate into Azure Machine Learning for monitoring model performance metrics during the training run and for interactive debugging. For a clear and concise way to monitor resource utilization, so memory, GPU usage while a training job is running, stack traces, et cetera, look to incorporate tools like the PyTorch or TensorFlow profilers. As a rule of thumb for what a good training job should look like, Aim for at least 80% GPU utilization in a continuously decreasing loss. My key takeaway here is, as you all know, ML training is highly iterative and actively monitoring job performance and resource utilization is critical for you to get the most out of your sponsored GPU cluster time. That concludes this video on getting started with distributed GPU training on Azure Machine Learning. In the next video, I will discuss how to optimize Azure Machine Learning storage 
and compute. 